In this video, we'll look at using Coinbase's base network. I'm gonna show you how to get this set up with a wallet. If you use MetaMask or Coinbase wallet, I'll show you how to set this network up in both, how to get some Ethereum onto this network and then start using it with applications. I'll leave timestamps for all of that down in the description. So what exactly is BASE? Well, BASE is a layer two network on top of Ethereum created by Coinbase. So we can use all of the existing Ethereum apps and assets just like we would on the base layer, but this has cheaper fees. So what we need to do is actually buy some ETH firstly, because on this network, you use ETH to pay for gas. So every transaction, we need to pay a little bit of ETH, but it is cheaper on this network. So we're gonna withdraw some ETH from our exchange first and then bridge it over to the layer two, and I'll show you how to do that. So what I'm gonna do is go and buy some ETH. I've got some ETH in my Binance account. I'll leave some links below to tutorials on how to actually buy uh, cryptocurrency on exchanges if you need to know how to do that. I'll also leave links to Binance uh, below. You can get some deposit and trading bonuses. I'll leave links to other exchanges that uh, do that as well. So I've got some ETH in my account and now I wanna go ahead and just press withdraw. The reason I want to withdraw this is because in order to get the Ethereum from uh, our account into base, we actually firstly need to send it to the Ethereum mainnet and then from there, we can bridge it over to base. So for right now, uh, you have to use the Ethereum mainnet and then bridge to base. You can't withdraw directly through to base from an exchange. So if you have Binance or another account, what you'll have to do is go to network when you press withdraw, and then you want to choose the Ethereum mainnet, which is ERC20. So it's this one right here. Now, as you can see, Binance and a few other exchanges support many different networks. And so in the future, you may have the option to withdraw directly onto base. If you do, great news. You don't have to go through it through the Ethereum layer one. As of right now, because base is so new, you have to firstly put it onto ETH mainnet and then bridge it over. So if you have that option on, on any exchange, you can use it right there. If you're using Coinbase as the exchange, and I'll just show you this, you can go into your account and then just, just press send. So obviously you need to go ahead and buy some Ethereum, press send right here, and then it's gonna say what asset do you wanna send? I wanna send some ETH. Where do you want to actually send that? Now, as of right now, even Coinbase only accept ETH mainnet withdrawals. So again, you have to withdraw it to the ETH mainnet and then bridge it over. In the future, I'm certain that Coinbase will allow you to withdraw Ethereum directly onto the base layer two. And so you can skip this step. As of right now, we have to put it onto the Ethereum mainnet. Now what we have to do is get the wallet address of the wallet that we're using. So to use Ethereum mainnet and base, you need to use a decentralized wallet. I'll show you both here with MetaMask and with Coinbase wallet as well. So if you need to know how to get set up with a MetaMask or a Coinbase wallet, again, those tutorials are in the description. You can get set up with a wallet within five minutes and then you can get your Ethereum address. From here, we're gonna set up with a MetaMask. So if you have the MetaMask extension, you can just uh, get the MetaMask extension up uh, and then expand view to this. And then we can get our address right here, which is this one. So I'm gonna copy this and then we have an address to send Ethereum to. Now, if you're using Coinbase wallet as well, you can get up, uh, set up with a Coinbase wallet and then you need to press receive and then your addresses are right here. Now from here, you can just simply go back to the uh, exchange that you're using and withdraw. So I'm gonna go back to Ethereum. Here's my address, I'm gonna paste this in and then the network is ERC20. And so I'm going to be taking Ethereum from my centralized exchange, withdrawing it to a wallet address that I own. So get set up with either a MetaMask or a Coinbase wallet firstly and then you can withdraw the Ethereum onto the Ethereum mainnet. Unfortunately, the fees are gonna be a little bit higher, maybe $3 or something like that. Once we have some ETH in our Ethereum mainnet, we can now bridge that over to the layer two using the base bridge. So we're gonna to come to base.org. I'll leave the site uh, linked in the description. Come to bridge right here, takes us through to the bridge. We want to deposit from Ethereum mainnet to base. Now we need to connect our wallet. So top right hand corner, MetaMask you can connect. If you have a Coinbase wallet, it's great to use as well. This is an extension on your Chrome. Uh, so you can use either of these. I'm just gonna connect to MetaMask. If you're doing it for the first time, it may go through some approvals. You just press approve and you can link it up to this site. Now from here, we need to bridge an amount uh, of ETH. You can actually bridge these assets as well, although we do need to pay for gas with ETH. So I'm gonna bridge some ETH over like this. Uh, it's around $5 of ETH, but you do need to pay gas fees as well. So we're gonna press deposit ETH, and then we're gonna check the gas fee, which is around $4. So uh, I'll just do it for this video. We can press confirm, 
and then that is confirmed. So what you're doing is sending ETH over from the ETH mainnet over to the uh, base layer two. That's how to do it with a Chrome-based uh, Chrome wallet extension. If you have Coinbase wallet on your phone, it's actually a lot easier than this. So you can link up your Coinbase wallet with the Coinbase exchange very easily. Go to settings and you can link them up. But if you do have a Coinbase wallet downloaded on your phone, just go to the bridge icon in the center, press that. And then if you have some assets on your Ethereum, you'll have to withdraw them from your Coinbase account. You can click Polygon right up here and it says select a network to bridge to and then just press base and that will bridge the Ethereum over to the base network and you can choose an amount that you want to bridge. You do have to pay the gas fee as well, but you can do it easily through the Coinbase wallet app as well. If you're using a browser based extension like MetaMask or Coinbase wallet, you do need to add the base mainnet into your wallet so that you can see all of your balances there. So what we're going to do is come to the base documents. Uh, again, I'll leave this page linked in the description. I'll show you on MetaMask. What we need to do is add the base mainnet because of right now, you can see Ethereum's here, some other networks, but we can't see base and we can't see any assets on base. So we're going to go to add networks in the top right by going to settings and then networks and then add a network. From here, we're going to add a network manually and then we need to enter the name. So I'm going to enter the name, which is base and then the new RPC uh, URL or the endpoint right here. I'm just going to copy and paste this in and then the chain ID we need as well, which is 8453. And then the currency symbol you can put as ETH because that's what you're paying. And then the block explorer, which is base scan. So we need all of that information. We can add it manually and then we can press save. And then we've added that. We're going to switch to base as well. And then actually you can see we do have some tokens in here because we bridged that amount, which was 0.003 ETH from the ETH mainnet over to base. So I'm now connected to the base layer two within MetaMask. I have the $5 of ETH that I bridged over. So that's how you add the network manually into your MetaMask. I'm sure it's very similar for Coinbase Wallet as well. From here, we can use any applications that support Base as a network. Considering Base is run by Coinbase, most applications are going to support it. So uh, I'll use Uniswap as an example. We're going to go into the swap feature on Uniswap. Top right hand corner, we can connect to Base. So you can see Base right here is a network that is supported. We'll connect our wallet, MetaMask. Now my MetaMask is on the base network, uh, so that's all linked up perfectly. And then it recognizes that I have that 0.003 ETH in there. I can switch it to another token like DAI or something like that, 0.001, and it's going to work out. Now, if you press swap, you should be able to see that the gas fees are a lot lower than the ETH mainnet. I'll leave the deposit and trading bonuses to Binance and other exchanges down in the description. Other helpful videos listed down there as well. I'm James, it's Money ZG. Cheers for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.